Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited that you're here. If this is your first time joining us, hello and welcome. Please hit the subscribe button so we can always be friends. And if you're returning, I appreciate you way more than you know. You have no idea. So if you're new here or if you don't know, my name is Tanjanika and I'm the CEO of Tactical Tangerine Defense. And I teach you tips and tricks on how to stay trained and tactical in these streets, okay? So today I wanna go over two different new babies that I just got. I'm super, super, super excited about this. I almost cannot even contain myself. So today we're gonna compare two different Galils and I can't wait to show you all about them, okay? So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure you stay tuned. So today, guys, I, like, I legit can't even contain myself. I promise you I can't. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Galil Chamber in 545. Let me tell you, it hit different. It hit different. I can't even like hold you. It hit different. This sexy piece of machinery is the Galil Ace SAR. The sexiest, by far the sexiest piece of brand new like straight out the, like I loved it immediately, right? This is the type of thing I, soon as I took it to the range, I was like, oh, this is changing my life, okay? So we got the six hour Romeo 5, red dot on it. We got the iron sight still on it. So Marine Corps days came right back to me, like, can I really hit it? Can I really like shoot for real, for real, for real? And I can, <laughs> I can, <laughs> I can. Y'all, completely clear. Again, this is chambered in 545. This is Israeli made eight inch barrel on it. It comes in two different types. It comes in eight inch barrel and it comes in a 16 inch barrel. This is the eight inch barrel. It has an adjustable brace on it. So it has the Magpul brace, I believe. Oh, this is a SB tactical brace. This is a SB tactical brace that it has on it. it ha I don't, I'm not about to flip it down because I can't remember how to do it. <laughs> it's way too hard to flip it down or do whatever. I don't, I'm not doing that, but it's completely clear, completely empty. It has the front, the front rail handle on it. It has the iron sights. It's an eight inch barrel. It's chambered in 545. Let's just start with that. The magazine is totally different. It's almost on the AK style. So that's what I fell in love with this about. Like when I tell you, I absolutely love this out the gate. And what's so special about this, only 545 of these were made ever, right? So let me show you how real this is. I'm not even gonna pretend like we're, we're not, cause I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you. Let me tell you, not a certificate of authenticity, not a whole certificate, not, not born on my birthday though. October 1st, 2020. October 1st is my birthday. That's how I knew it was meant for this to be in the collection. I absolutely knew this could not be. It's like real, it's real as fuck, okay? Uh -huh. Ain't no telling what I'm gonna get this year for my birthday on October 1st, but this was a great gift. I'm super proud of it. Love it more than you know. I absolutely love it and my shots were great. So check out the footage of me taking this to the range. Respect on my it can only load on fire and it doesn't pull the bolt to the rear when the magazine is empty. I don't like that. And a great addition to the family. It's chambered in five four five. So it's more along on that AK platform style with the magazine. Let me show you the magazine that it has for it. This is your standard AK mag, the 762 mag here. This is the 545 mag. It's totally different. Look how much more smaller it is compared to the other one. You can't even use this one in this, right? So it has, it's completely empty. So this I absolutely love. And you have to, it's like a lip and you have to catch it on that lip right there and then you can just, it's on the money. This is like, this is 32 rounds, I believe, and then you release it here. So that's different, right? The release button. 
as different as down here. Um, but overall, I absolutely love this. I absolutely love that piece of firearm. I really, really did. Guys, it's got that BCM pistol grip that I love. Seriously, this is just incredible. I love the iron sights on this. That's what I absolutely love, that the iron sights were still on, but we did add the 6 Hour Romeo 5 red dot onto it. It's just an incredible, like, I, you saw my shots. Like, this is, like, going to be, this is a great heirloom to pass down to heirs as well. So if you have things like this, do not get rid of it, okay? Do not. So now I want to compare it to another Galil. <laughs> it was a Galil type of day. I swear to God it was. Let me tell you. So he pulls out the Galil Ace SAR, chambered in 545, and I absolutely loved it. Then he pulls out a Galil SAR. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Galil SAR chambered in 762. Okay, so it is totally different from the other one because it has a longer barrel, obviously, has that forward grip on it, but it's chambered in 762, so it's not chambered in 556. It still has that, um, it has an adjustable foldable buttstock on it as well. It has a Israeli weapons industries grip on it. Take a look at me taking this to the range and let me, and I'm gonna tell you what I thought of this one, okay? Take a look at this footage. So guys, as you can see, this is super heavy. Like this is really, 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 really heavy. It has the Mi Pro Light, um, the Mi Pro Light sights on it, and you can actually control this by your phone or control it by an app. And I don't know if I like that or not because I'm concerned about somebody hacking your phone and fucking up your shots. I know that sounds bad, but biological war warfare is a thing and like that just seems like technology warfare is a thing too. So I was just like, I don't know how comfortable I feel with this, but it's genius, right? You can change your sights from your phone. You can change the, um, the eye from your phone you can change the direction from your phone it's so sexy i absolutely love this scope on it it's just so sexy but this is super heavy this is not this is super heavy this is not something that i would want to train with this is not something like this is just something to have in the collection so this is a galil ace sar they're both galil ace sar this is chambered in 762 and this one's chambered in 545 so you see both of them, right? You can see both of them. And I'll give you close-ups of both of them, but I just like the 545 way better than the 762. This was just not my favorite whatsoever, but it's in the collection and I'm so proud. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you have a Galil? What did you think about it? Do you have 762 or 545? Let me know which one you have in the comments below and let me know which one you prefer as well. If you've never shot a Galil before, if you've never shot an AK before, please go to the range. You can rent them out and shoot them yourself so it's nothing. But the Galil Ace 545 was my new favorite that I've added to the list and there's always something new every day I've purchased like maybe more since then so make sure you stay tuned and let me know what reviews you want to see below because I read the comments and I'm definitely paying attention so thank you guys so much for being here if you made it this far please like comment subscribe and share it helps the channel so so very much and if you like what you see I'll read the comments and I'll make sure I shout you out on the next video okay so I'm super super happy and I'm super grateful for everyone that's here okay if if you made it this far please like comment subscribe and share and make sure you stay trained and tactical in these streets and i will see you next time here on tactical tangerine